Okay, then we have food dialogues. You know about food dialogues? Well, I know about it by default because I've been, <laughs> I've been helping Riaz prepare his meal. Uh -huh. But Riaz is, 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 well, he doesn't want to be called a chef. He's more your friend. Tell us about Riaz. How, how did you all hook up, as they say? Oh, that's, that's a very long and complicated story. Riaz and I met when I went to India for the first time, which was in 1999, I think. Okay. And um, I, I, India was a big part of my life for quite a long time. I went there for six months at a time to work on my writing. It was a, it was a good place to work in for me. Um, uh, and we became, yeah, we became close friends. And I, he invited me to his home in Kashmir and I visited there a couple of times for quite long periods. Um, and at one point I invited him to come and visit South Africa, so he did and he decided he liked it and, you know, uh, one thing led to another and then he came to Libya. Yeah, but, but he credits you with basically bringing him to another level of, of, of I guess, his, his well, cooking I guess or his life. I, I was surprised he credited me quite so uh, in those terms, I guess, although it sort of makes sense. I mean, he... Um, you know, I, I, I guess when Riaz came here from Kashmir, he was not very worldly. Um, Kashmir is quite cut off in yeah. many ways because it's under military occupation. So um, he kind of had to perceive uh, the Western world, South Africa in particular, through me, I guess. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I was a, a mentoring sort of force. Um, anyways, I... Uh, he and I, for a short time, owned a restaurant together in, oh, really? in Cape Town. Yeah, in oh, Long, yeah, what Long was Street. the restaurant? Um, you, where was the restaurant? It was in Long Street, uh, Masala oh. Dosa, it was called. I know that. I know. I used to go there. No, you did? Yeah, yeah when it first, actually, when it first opened up. Well, uh, the guy who originally owned it was a friend of mine, and, um, an Israeli guy called Amit. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I was actually traveling with him in India when he first got the idea for the restaurant. Um, and we, anyway, he opened the restaurant, Riaz worked there for mm -hmm. a long period of time, and after about 10 years, Amit decided he wanted to sell it, um, and we took it over. And uh, we ran it, I think, quite well, certainly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, a, it's, not a, um, it's not a line of work I would recommend to anyone. Um, but you're not a restaurant person. No, I'm not a restaurant person at all. Um, and I uh, discovered that very quickly. But Riaz is very much mm. a restaurant person and he did the day-to-day -day running. Uh, but anyway, COVID closed us down and oh, okay. that, that was the end of that story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, but your, 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 well, your profession, your, your passion is, is an, as a novelist. Yeah. Two people's got this. What is the connection? Come on now. This, this gotta be, it, it, yeah, friendship yeah. is one thing, but <laughs> help it, helping a rep, I don't know. Did you get some material out of uh, some well, of Well, I wonder movies? about that. You know, there's a whole spate of movies. Uh, it's, it's almost a genre on its own. Restaurant movies, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I haven't noticed something similar with, with novels, like mm -hmm. restaurant novels, but, you know, those movies are often entertaining or tense or whatever, but for me, they're, they're kind of like horror films because oh, really? I, I know what it feels like to yeah. run a restaurant and how much... Um, anxiety and tension plays out backstage, you know, in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, so anything that centers on that, I relate to instantly, not in a comfortable way. Well, I have to ask you this question. This is an obvious question. I hate to have obvious questions. But if you're writing and he's restauranting or he's a, be, being a, an incredible uh, chef, uh, where's your book? Where's the recipe book? Come on now. And he, I, 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 know, I know he doesn't like recipes. He doesn't do recipes. I understand what he was saying. but. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, recipe, recipes. I'm a terrible cook, by the way. Well, that, uh, that's a little unfair. I'm, I'm not a natural cook. I, I need a recipe. I plod through it step by step, and I dutifully kind of serve something up. I can't look at ingredients and create something, which, which is what a, a real cook or chef does, and, and he can. Um, but, you know, he's written down recipes or, or dictated them to me when he's, uh, you know, going to be away and I don't have access to the kind of food I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can follow those steps and they don't turn out the same way. You know, there's some kind of magic that goes into the cooking. So it, it ain't me. And it was a bad idea. The restaurant was a bad idea. I don't recommend it for any writer. Mm -hmm. But it was, oh. it was a learning curve and uh, I did learn stuff. Okay, I won't, I won't keep you. I just went... Well, okay, let me put this way. What would you say is Riyadh's... I guess it's another stock question. Strength, greatest strength, the thing that attracts people to his food. Or, or uh, I, I know he has a love that, that, that permeates through it. I mean, what, what 
from your perspective, you've been around a long time, long time with them. What is the thing? Well, you know, there was a reason the West became so obsessed with the East, actually, way back, and that was spices. It's like mm. they absolutely transform the taste of any dish. So he works exceptionally well with spices. I mean, that's true of lots of um, cooking from India, right? But mm. I think a lot of people also assume that if the food is hot, i.e. full of chilies, mm. that's typical Indian food. He gets very angry if, yeah. if, if people respond like that. You've got to have the flavor, not just the burn. Mm. So I think he's exceptionally good with the, with the flavors. I mean, Indian cooking is amazing. It's kind of oh, yeah. my favorite cuisine. No, I've been, there's so many different reasons. In fact, the one thing I really learned from, aside from Neem and whatever, everyone, is people are all, all obsessed with now with turmeric. Yeah. I, I found turmeric a long time ago. I used to, yeah, yeah. Turmeric. I, I used to put turmeric <laughs> on everything. And now all of a sudden, oh, it's turmeric, you gotta have it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I was just, in fact, talk, talk to me about that. What, well, what, what have you, not, not turmeric, but I mean, what have you seen that you say, oh, that's overtaken, you know what I mean, that's, you know what I mean, that's, uh, uh, you know, with, like you said, it used to be like, oh, it's hot, it must be Indian food. What, what is the thing now, is it still the same? What, what? Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what you're yeah. asking me, like what specifically about Indian food it is? No, modern Indian food. No, what, no words, now the turmeric is out there. <laughs> I guess whatever's going to be next, I mean, is there another... Well, I don't know, you know, a lot of, a lot of food goes fusion, especially in uh, the age of globalization. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, you know, Rio's quite resistant to the fusion thing. I mean, he's done a bit of it this evening, I think quite successfully, but, but, but basically he... He's, he's absolutely able to take a Western recipe and put a, um, an Indian spin on it. So it looks familiar and tastes unfamiliar in, in really kind of exciting ways. Um, but you know, the traditional Indian cooking is still what I most mm -hmm. fantasize about when I'm far from India, which I have been for quite a long time. Mm -hmm. um, well, I'm trying to get back next year because it's been 20 years since I actually oh, went, really? went to India first. You know what I mean? So, oh, you, you, you've I've been, been uh, multiple yeah, times? Yeah, I've been multiple times. Oh, time. right. We probably time. passed each other somewhere. Maybe. Uh, some, well, somewhere there. Yes. Yeah, because it's like just yeah. over 20 years since I, I first started going. Yeah, um, yeah the, the atmosphere in India is a little different now. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. The current regime is not... Everything that, that India kind of excited me, uh, um, the, uh, the ways in which India excited me when I originally went there, it's kind of, you know, it's broad vision, it's inclusiveness, it's, um, its ability to, you know, stack up different cultures right next to each other in a daily cheek by jowl kind of way. Mm. It's become a lot more intolerant and the vision's a lot narrower, yeah. but you know, these times come to pass. And, yeah. and okay, well I want to end on a, on a bummer note as we used no, to no, say. No, no, no. But um, then when I say, I just, I, I, um, I just want to, well, well, thank you for, you're not going to take the credit, but thank you for bringing Riyadh to us. Oh. Yeah, he, no, 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 don't, don't try to be all humble, but I'm just trying, he said it, I'm just repeating what he said, all right? Yeah, I've, I've never, I've never regretted that. Um, He's really kind of made his way in the world here. Um, and he's discovered really what his passion is, which is, you know, cooking. It, that wasn't the case when I first encountered him. Mm. No, it's a kind of journey for everyone to discover what it is they do best and what, what it is they love doing. Um, but it's very, very clear for him. Not always clear for everyone, but I guess that's a, that's a gift he can really be proud okay, well, of. Well, all the best here. Wait a second, I gotta add, now I gotta ask you another stock question. What, you, what, what, Literary work are you working on now? Oh man, I'm I'm supposed to be doing a book of short stories, but it's like so many deadlines have passed that I'm kind of amused at the, the way they come up and pass. So by the end of uh, this year or the middle of next year, hopefully I'll have a book of short stories. But okay, so we're, now we're, uh, so what's your whole name? With uh, Derek, what, what, what what should we what what name should we be looking for? What, you know, what, where are we looking you up at? How, how do we? I'm uh, Damon Galgit. That's an unusual name. It comes from Eastern Europe originally. My that side of my family came from Lithuania, part of the Jewish emigration before the Second World War. So mm -hmm. Galgit mm -hmm. um, probably comes from some other name. Mm -hmm. And then Damon. I guess my mother had a literary bent, and she named me after Damon Runyon. Oh, yeah. oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, she has oh, a lot to answer. Oh, he has a lot to answer. Oh boy! <laughs> so how do you spell your last name? Galgut, G-A-L-G-U-T. Okay, that's easy. Nice, like it sounds. Thank you so very much. I appreciate uh, it. Great to chat.